Welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to be building a new enclosure for some brand new animals that we recently got in here at the farm that we are super excited about. Uh, we'll show you those in a minute, but right now Mr. JR is on his way over to get started. This is the area where the new enclosure is going to go. Uh, we've got our cattle pastures out that way, and then this is kind of our equipment yard where we keep all of the implements and different things for the tractors, extra trailers, that kind of thing. But we've got this big open area right here with plenty of shade because these new animals need lots of shade. And the professional has arrived. Mr. JR is here. So we're about to get busy. had to move these steps. Our uh, fence line is going straight through from there, right straight down to here. And these are steps of an old original house that was here on the property. Uh, our old tractor, we tried tried to move them, but we were unable to. But thanks to that guy, I was able to get these flipped over. That is poured completely solid. Now these guys have a nice scratching area. Today is just one of those really nasty days too. Um, wind gusts at 45 miles an hour. It's not raining, but it keeps sprinkling. It's just dark and cloudy. So it's really not the most fun day on the farm, but it's a good day for it to be nice and cool so that when they're building the fence, no one's gonna die of a heat stroke. So making progress. We've got all these line posts in. When I say we, I mean them. Anyway, to put the next line in. We're actually doing it considerably bigger than what we thought. I was only going to go to like here, but JR has got us going all the way down and around, so way, way bigger space. Still have to put our uh, brace wire across there, but looking good. It's going to be an excellent enclosure. Okay, so kind of walking around out here after that storm. Uh, trying to see what all kind of damage we have and across the main driveway we have a tree so even though it's raining pretty windy still uh, we're gonna get in the tractor try and get this out of the way otherwise logan can't get in the driveway when she gets home from work so we're gonna try and get that done and then check the rest of the property for any more damage but luckily it fell this way instead of that way onto the fence and all of these enclosures are far enough away that it didn't get any of that. Here we go. Okay, it's out of the way enough for Logan to get home and so we will deal with the rest of that another day. Today is day two of the pen build, but Logan and I are actually on our way to the exotic animal sale uh, to pick up some animals for some clients. And so it's gonna be JR here by himself, but I imagine that when we get back home, um, we won't be able to see it till tomorrow, but I imagine that pen's gonna be done. So hopefully he has a great day working on that and hopefully we get some great new animals for our clients. We're also gonna be taking a few of our llamas and alpacas with us. Uh, the shearing guy will be at the sale, so Instead of having to pay him to come here and get them done, we're going to actually take them with us. So we're going to load up some of those guys and take them along. Okay, it's our turn for our llamas and alpacas to get sheared, so here we go.
right, and one llama is completely sheared and ready to go. She is looking good. Much improved. She was so good. All the llamas and alpacas have been sheared and they are loving their new haircuts. We also brought home some surprises, so we're gonna get them settled in for the night and we'll check back in the morning. Okay, it's actually been two days. Uh, we got back from the sale, unloaded animals and stuff, and it rained all day the next day. And then we had church all day the next day after that. So the new pen is built and we're gonna have a look at it right now. They did an awesome job and it is almost ready for the new animals to move into. We've got some decorations and that kind of thing to put in it now though. Here it is. We went with the no climb fence so that babies cannot escape the bottom and so that it's completely legal. Uh, here in Florida, the FWC has a lot of different caging and requirements and rules. So we do follow all of those, but plenty of space. This whole area here, there's that scratching area that's already there. Plenty of space. So now we are going to begin to decorate the enclosure and get the animals moved in. And now we're coming back and putting electric fence along the bottom here so that when they're rooting around, and they get close to the fence, they'll touch it one time and it won't happen again. All right, so we got the new enclosure built, all the fences done. We haven't decorated yet, but we did want to get the new residents in there right away. So let's go check them out. Our newest residents are Stewie and Senorita, and they are a brand new pair of Red River Hogs from the African continent. Look at us feeding donuts right now, which is not their actual food. Um, they're omnivorous, so they eat a little bit of everything. They eat roots, plants, uh, meat, they eat bugs, they eat small rodents, they eat a little bit of all of it. Just a little bit earlier, I mentioned putting the electric fence around the bottom. And we have to do that because they like to root. You can see they've been tearing the ground up everywhere. But they like to root around the edges, and so they could just root right out underneath the fence. So we put the piece of electric there, and that keeps them from rooting too close to the fence and keeps them in their enclosure. At this point, we're kind of staying on the outside of the fence with them. Um, they're not mean and aggressive, but they are a wild animal. And you can see those teeth and that mouth. So at this point, until we get to know each other pretty good, we're just kind of keeping our distance, um, keeping a barrier between the two of us. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, we have them in a shaded area. They are from like the rainforest and the really wet regions like around the Congo and Africa. And so they don't like to be in direct sun. They'll go out in a little bit to kind of look for different grasses and different roots, um, but they like to be in shade. Pigs cannot sweat. Um, none of the swine can sweat, so they need to be able to stay cool. So that's why we have them in this area right here. These guys are two and three years old, so they are right at breeding age. So hopefully this first year that we have them, we're gonna have some piglets. We are super excited about that. All swine are very trainable, so we're gonna work on getting these guys to learn how to sit and just kind of respect some boundaries. All of the pigs, the swine, they are all extremely smart. People don't give them a lot of credit, but they are as smart and smarter than most dogs. Girl, she's already got it figured out. Someone is uh, slightly jealous. 
he has to eat gnats while they get to eat donuts. For the first few days that we had these guys here, every llama and every alpaca, um, they have like a little like a little alarm sound they make when they see something that's not supposed to be there. And so every time they would look from their pasture over here to this new pasture, their alarms were going off constantly. So all the other animals around here are trying to adjust to them. Um, it's just something very different than what they're used to seeing. Uh, we do have cooney coonies in the pasture with the llamas and alpacas, so they're used to that, but that does not look like a uh, normal pig. So they're getting used to them little by little. So are we. Sometimes when I look out here, I'm still a little bit weirded out. Uh, they look like a wild hog, and that's something we would not want to have here on the farm. So it's just taking some getting used to seeing these new guys. They're already to the point where they're following us around. They love donuts. Uh, the previous owner had told us if we really wanted to be best friends with them, that they like bagels and donuts. And that's pretty obvious because they're following that bag wherever she goes. Something else that we really like to give these guys um, is fresh eggs. They really enjoy that. So we're gonna go over to the chicken coops and see if there's any fresh eggs to give them. Um, that's a really healthy treat. They had one egg, so that is unacceptable for all those chickens, but we have eggs that they had previously laid, so we'll grab some of those. But I'm not really sure what's up with only having one egg a day from all of those girls. All right, so one thing we noticed already on the pen is here at the gate, there's not electric and they've about got themselves dug out already. So we're gonna have to put one of those little removable electric gates across the bottom of this because I do not want Red River hogs running around the farm. So that's a repair we have to make already. So turn off the electric, right? Yeah. Okay, that's across there and hopefully that keeps them from rooting underneath the gate. As a comparison to a wild swine, these are Cooney Coonies or Coon Coon. I've heard it said both ways, but very lazy, very domesticated, completely different animal than the Red River Hogs. That's Ricky, our boar. Probably the laziest animal on the entire farm. And probably one of the sweetest animals, Ethel, right there. Completely different animal than the hogs are. All right, all right. This is a very jealous farm. You can't spend any time with any animal without being jealously investigated. They're just pigs. Come on, man. We hope you guys enjoyed this video as we built the enclosure for Stewie and Senorita, and we're so excited to have introduced them to you finally. Keep an eye out for them in future videos. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. From Randall, myself, and everyone here at His Way Farm, may God bless you, and we will see you next time.